Senator Fred Thompson has spent much of his life in Washington, both as a lawyer and later as a senator from the great state of Senate, uh, Tennessee. And in 2008, following his own run for the White House, he endorsed fellow GOP candidate John McCain. But tonight, Fred Thompson is here with us in a Hannity exclusive to announce who he is supporting in 2012 for the Republican nomination. Senator, welcome back. Thank you, Sean. Good to be back with you. All right. I, don't, I read your statement, and uh, most people haven't seen it, so I think it's really important that uh, I let you lay it out, because you go into some really, really specific details why this race is so important, what is at stake here, and then who you decide to endorse. Explain. Yeah, Sean, for me, the way I view the strength of these candidates had to do with the way I view the status and the direction of our government. I think we're in deep trouble. I probably think, I think that we probably are in greater trouble than most people do. Even these numbers that are coming out of Washington that look so bleak uh, are understated. Uh, they're based on faulty projections of growth and things of that nature. We have historic, uh, historically low interest rates now. When those interest rates start to come up as the largest debtor in the world, uh, we're going to be in an additional uh, uh, fix that uh, we can't bail ourselves out of. Uh, I think we're at a tipping point in this country. I think there are going to be more people in the wagon soon, uh, uh, soon uh, the, the, than are pulling the wagon. Yeah, uh, we're I, close. I, 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 think, I think we're there. You know, almost half the people uh, are the recipient of some uh, federal government program. Uh, almost half the people pay no federal income tax. Uh, I think this president is taking us down the, the, the road of a genuine welfare state full-fledged, uh, even when we have the example of, of Europe to, to teach us and guide us. And I think the American people see what's going on there, see what's going on in their own country, and that's why they're organizing in hamlets and communities and towns all across this nation. You know, some of them are called tea parties. Yeah. And uh, that's, my, that's my view, and, and I have come to the to the to the growing realization, for me anyway, that Newt Gingrich uh, is, is the guy who can articulate uh, what America is all about, American exceptionalism, can make the case, not just uh, read the talking points or, or, or do it off a teleprompter, can make the case for uh, free markets and, and our basic case that lower taxes can be good for, for everybody and, for, and, and bring about growth that's good for, for everybody. And uh, he, he's not afraid and he's tough and, and he's experienced. I don't think anymore that it's an advantage to be able to say, um, I know nothing about the operation of the federal government. I know something about it, Newt knows something about it, and it is a colossal mess. Um, I came to Washington in 1995 uh, in part because of uh, uh, what was going on in the country right now that had been generated in large part by uh, the leadership of, of Newt Gingrich. Uh, he, he, con he conceived uh, and, and, uh, and, and carried out uh, uh, really a revolution in American politics at that time. And we were able, as he's pointed out, to balance the budget for about four years in a row, and passed welfare reform, and and began to rebuild a depleted military. And things. So these things can be done, but we we can't be apologetic about it, and we can't be tentative about it. We can't look like that we're surprised, you know, if we get off our talking points. And uh, we've we've got to to stand up to the uh, to the establishment on both sides of the aisle, and to the to the news media, and and. Uh, and carry this thing through. Yeah, uh, yeah. These times are these times are different in America, Sean. Uh, the old rules don't apply anymore. People are concerned. Uh, people are frightened. Uh, people see their country going in a direction uh, that's different from the first principles that made us the envy of the world. And that's why you're seeing uh, people react the way they did in South Carolina. You said you re released a report, and you, you mentioned this in your statement. You put this together when you were the chairman of the uh, Senate Government Affairs Committee in 2001. Yeah. It was government yeah. on the brink. You say it's far worse now than it was then. Um, you see the debt. You see the deficits. What do you make of? I mean, even tonight, um, you know, Governor Romney is is coming down hard on Newt, uh, a Washington insider, resigning in this. I mean, it was one attack after another after another, and. You know, um, I don't think this is the path towards inspiring people on either side when any of these guys are attacking each other. And, you know, that they spent 20 minutes on this uh, earlier tonight in a debate. Yeah. Well, I, um, 
I, I'm not really surprised. I guess I am surprised that Newt's doing his own, uh, shall we say, uh, uh, tough and gritty work. Uh, usually he leaves that to his sur surrogates and to uh, uh, the, the super PACs to put on those television ads, and they've spent millions and millions of dollars on on a tax like that, while Newt, st I mean, while Mitt stands up there, you know, and I think in the last debate said one of his regrets was that he had said something negative towards uh, one of the candidates. So now he's coming out with a an array of, uh, of of accusations that you know everyone can be addressed, you know, in the proper time. Uh, so I, I, if these candidates want to spend their time talking about what happened 10, 15, 20 years ago. Um, and mistakes that were made in their personal lives or their business lives or their political lives, uh, I'm sure that each candidate is going to have plenty to talk about. But I think the American people uh, are fed up with all of that are, and, and are asking the question, who is going to be bold enough, smart enough, articulate enough to carry the mail, it's to, beat, Bar to yeah. be beat Barack Obama and start the difficult, difficult task of riding this American ship? Um, will you head out on the campaign trail with uh, Newt Gingrich? Oh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do some things, I'm sure, uh, but uh, I, I, it's not a, it's not a full-time job, and I'm not going to be a spokesman for the campaign or anything like that. I, I have the same concern that every uh, father and grandfather has, and uh, uh, it, same thing that got me involved in politics to start with, and that is, you know, to try to leave the place a little better. Than, uh, than you found it. And, and I've been the recipient. You know, I, I above all else know that, uh, you know, you can be born into modest circumstances in this country, but you're blessed in ways that kings of old could not even begin to contemplate. You know, you're born with a legacy of, of, of freedom and independence and, 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 and free choice. And, and uh, you, you know, people and, and, and the founding fathers of this country understood human nature and they understood the wisdom of of the ages and, and the lessons of, of civilizations that have come and gone. And these, these things have, have, have come together, you know, to give us the kind of life that we've had. And I, yeah. I'm, I'm, ashamed, I'm ashamed kind of of, of what our generation uh, is in the process of leaving the next one. You know, I just turned 50, Senator, and uh, you think about life a little different. Something about that age is just that. I know you, you're about to turn 50, so you'll know what it's like in a couple of months. Won't but be long. Won't be long. <laughs> uh, Senator, it's always good to see you. Thank you so much for being with us. And I think this is worth reading. Is it on your website? Uh, uh, I don't know if it's on my website or not. I'm sure it'll be on somebody's. I'll put it on mine, Hannity.com. <laughs> All, All right. right. Let me just say that I believe the debate we're going to have with President Obama over the next eight or nine months, the outlining of the two Americas, the America of the Declaration of Independence, the America of Saul Alinsky, the America of paychecks, the America of food stamps, the America of independence, the America of dependence, the America of strength in foreign policy, the America of weakness in foreign policy. Those two choices, I believe, will give the American people a chance to decide permanently whether we want to remain the historic America that has provided opportunity for more people of more backgrounds than any country in history, or whether, in fact, we prefer to become a brand new, secular, European-style, bureaucratic socialist system. I agree with you. <laughs> I'm running because Calista and I looked at the future for Maggie and Robert, and we decided, no, we're not going to go the route of Obama and these kind of radical ideas. So in order to carry out this great debate, to rally the American people to reasserting their belief in America, yeah. to winning the election decisively this fall, yeah. to profoundly changing Washington starting on day one, yeah. when, when, by the way, we abolish all the White House czars, yeah. To do, that, to do that, we need to build on this victory by going to Florida. I need your help in reaching out to people in Florida. I need your help in finding anybody who believes in what we're doing and telling them to go to newt.org, just my first name, to sign up, to donate, to get involved. We don't have the kind of money 
that at least one of the candidates has. But we do have ideas and we do have people. And we proved here in South Carolina that people, people power with the right ideas beats big money. And with your help, we're going to prove it again in Florida. Thank you. Good luck and God bless you.